We know what you're thinking. A plant-based product that tastes like meat? Impossible, you say? Let's talk about things that were impossible. Humans? Flying? Ridiculous. Impossible. Till two brothers did it. George here solved two math problems thought to be impossible after he showed up late to class and thought they were homework. Video conferencing was once impossible until AT&T did it. Carrie Strug tore two ligaments and sprained her ankle on this Olympic vault. Winning Olympic gold at this point was impossible until she vaulted again landing on one foot to win. Walking on the moon was impossible until Neil Armstrong did it. Women voting was considered impossible before Lydia Taft did it. Suddenly, the impossible doesn't seem so impossible. Does it really seem impossible to make plants taste like meat? We made the impossible possible, and we made it impossibly good. So go ahead, reach for the impossible. We open the commercial by tying in fundamental data we gathered from the Hierarchical Value Map, or HVM. People don't always know where to find the product. Additionally, we are able to show product pricing and announce to customers that we run sales. By moving to a third-person perspective, we show a member of our target demographic and also demonstrate the behavioral model by the actress picking up the product to interact with it. The Wright brothers elicit reasoned emotions from the consumer. The consumer is able to take cognitive information of man's first flight and turn that into an expectation of feelings and emotions. In this case, those emotions would be ingenuity, excitement, and exploration of the unknown. Video conferencing was thought to be a notion of the future and is now considered a staple for communication. Similarly, for impossible foods, we play on people's effective knowledge and educate them that impossible foods should now be considered a staple in one's diet. Plants that serve as a substitute for meat, what was once thought to be a futuristic notion, is now an experience of the present. Carrie's performance at the Olympics highlights the importance of the affective system in marketing. We have strong emotions and feelings tied to the Olympics and people overcoming impossible odds. This ties into the psychosocial consequence of a sense of pride that we found. Through the view of brand alternatives, we are creating a positive association in the compensatory integration process. Neil Armstrong walking on the moon plays into the consumer's HVM. Walking on the moon is something man never thought possible and represents overcoming obstacles in human ingenuity. As marketers, we tap into these values and associate them with the Impossible Food brand. Women's right to vote plays into metaphor elicitation. As marketers, we are extracting the metaphor of persistence, overcoming obstacles, as well as success, and using these metaphors to transfer over to the Impossible brand. When thinking of Impossible Foods in the context of a woman's right to vote, the consumer associates the same metaphors between the two. For the Impossible Burger itself, we utilize classical conditioning. The word impossible is repeated over and over to reinforce the connection between impossible and overcoming and succeeding. The momentous milestones act as the unconditioned stimulus, the Impossible Burger acts as the neutral stimulus, and the notion of succeeding as the unconditioned response. Eventually, when customers see the Impossible logo, they associate it with success. Moreover, when displaying the Impossible logo in meat, we show people eating and enjoying the alternative meat. This Pavlovian response helps consumers associate Impossible meat with delicious flavor.